I'm very honored to be here today and presenting on incorporating your SNS plan into a real world disease outbreak. I first want to offer a very brief background on Pinal County in Arizona. Because many have not heard of Pinal County, so I often state it's the county in between Phoenix and Tucson. We are actually one of the largest rural counties in Arizona with a population of approximately 375,000. While that may not seem like a significant amount of people, our land mass is about the size of the state of Connecticut. <laughs> Over 5,000 square miles. So you can imagine we're very spread out. Pinal County is a city's readiness initiative with Maricopa County, the county that houses Phoenix. We are a part of the Metropolitan Statistical Area. Now let me discuss our SNS or Medical Countermeasures Plan. Our SNS plan is utilized under all hazards approach and for a real world public health emergency. It's not sitting there waiting for an anthrax attack. As a result, this plan is used anytime there is an outbreak and on varying levels depending on the response needed. So we may just utilize the surveillance component of the plan or take it further into distribution, transportation, and dispensing. We may activate one or more points of dispensing sites and also activate our partners such as law enforcement and our public information officers. We capture all the information that we would if the strategic national stockpile was truly activated. Therefore, we conduct a call down notification to all our responding staff and we will time site activation facility setup, and vaccine throughput. So let's take a look at some of the examples of when we have used our SNS plan. We used it for an H1N1, but not only when we received antivirals from the stockpile in the spring of 2009, but also once the H1N1 influenza vaccine was manufactured and distributed in the fall. We waited to have enough injectables on hand to meet the initial demand because flu mist is contraindicated for a significant portion of our population. So we didn't want to have to turn people away. Then we had three mass vaccination clinics in November. Two occurred simultaneously. All three sites were selected based on the density of our population geographically throughout the county. We also used our SNS plan for a preventative non-emergent situation. We, wait, we wanted to be prepared if we faced an incident similar to H1N1 again. We exercised our plan for a 12-day, 13-pod, back-to-school immunization event in the summer of 2010, when it's really hot. <laughs> we, used, we used real vaccine on real people, but treated the whole multi-day event as a full-scale exercise. We were also able to assist the school districts throughout the county with getting their school populations vaccinated before the school year began. The last example of using our SNS plan is from a varicella outbreak at a local K-8 school in December 2010. We had six confirmed cases and another 400 potentially exposed because many of them had not had the second vaccine dose. Only one is required in Arizona. So now that I've given you some examples of when we have used our SNS plan, let me delve further into parts of the plan that we, we have utilized in these cases. For all three examples, we operated the security portion of our SNS plan. Our sheriff's office loves when we contact them for an exercise or an outbreak because it gives them the opportunity to train and the opportunity to apply law enforcement procedures to a public health response. It's another incident or scenario that they can be trained and ready for. Even if we are not transporting actual SNS, we are transporting additional supplies and materials to pod locations. Therefore, they can practice the escorting component of the distribution part of the plan. For all three examples, we also use the dispensing part of our plan. We pulled our pod site surveys, our pod layouts for each location. We also used our org charts, our job action sheets, our vaccine forms, our briefing templates, just-in-time training modules, all from our SNS plan. For the back-to-school clinics, we went from initially averaging vaccine throughput of 25 minutes down to 16 minutes. Mind you, this is for up to six vaccinations per child. During the varicella response, from entrance to exit, 2 minutes, 15 seconds. And no, we weren't blow dying. <laughs> Our facility setup average went from one and a half hours down to 15 minutes and our entire response time for our varicella outbreak was 45 hours. So here's proof that using your SNS plan during outbreaks and vaccine clinics will improve your SNS response. 
It does pay to dust off the plan and use it every time you respond.